Welcome folks to the lake house. One of the things I'm going to need here is a solar charged electric boat. And to start out with, the first one we're going to build is this kayak. I've got a 30 and a 50 pound thrust uh, electric trolling motor that we're going to use. We're going to start out with the 30 pound here. We're going to modify that a bit, attach it to the back of the kayak. We're going to use one RV deep cycle battery for this project. Uh, those are all from one of those fold-up cloth chairs that you can buy just about everywhere. I've undrilled all the little plastic ends that held it together. Gave me a nice little pile of steel tubing that we're going to use. So we're going to use this old kayak here. We're going to modify it a little bit. One of the things I'm going to do to start out with is I tested it out just to see if the 30 would have enough power to tool it around. So I bolted a piece of treated wood on there and that does work. It's an easy way to do it. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off, use that steel tubing over here, build a nice frame off the back of the kayak that'll hold our electric trolling motor. So let me go ahead and start manufacturing that piece that we're gonna build and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the first thing I've done. I took the two outside rods of that fold-up chair. That's the ones where the end of the hand rest or the arm rest went to right here. I've put those out flat so you can see that the arc in them is flat to each other. And then I took just one piece of one of the shorter pieces of that lower rod, that one of the crisscross arms, and cut two pieces at six inches wide out of that. Drilled some holes through there and then put two nuts and bolts on either one of those. And that's ready to go. And now I'm just setting up the spot against the kayak where I'm going to mount that down. And what I'm thinking is right about right here looks perfectly level all the way across. That should give me a nice amount of distance out from the end here to where the actual electric motor is going to mount. And then we're going to deck that area right there with probably a one by piece of planking or something. I'll find something to put on then I'll show you what that looks like when I get there. And then back in here I'm going to have to cut one more of these six inch long pieces and I'll probably put that right here against the back edge of this and then cut the ends off there. Alright so now I've got the frame itself mounted to the kayak. We've got three mount screws up here in the front. Uh, these ones are drilled through with the washer and nut on the other side. The four here with the cross members. You can see here on the cross member I've put some self tapping screws down into the kayak material itself just to help hold on to it. Alright, so the next stage of this is going to be taking a piece of wood and setting it right down on top of that, just like this. I'll get it on there just right. And once I get it on there, I'll drill through, put some nuts and bolts through there. We'll cut that off at the right size. And that'll be actually our mounting plank so we can mount the electric trolling motor right down onto that piece of wood right there. And we'll stain that up, make sure it's nice and waterproof. Okay, so now I've mounted that piece of wood at the end of our bracket we've made for holding the electric trolling motor. I've mounted the trolling motor to it so you can see it now. Alright, so the next step of this is to build our turn system so that we can actuate this back and forth so we can steer with our electric trolling motor. We're going to run some cables up to some foot pedals up in there. One of the parts of this is I've got to set a depth to the trolling motor down below the kayak hull, just slightly below it, and then up here at the top I'm going to go ahead and cut off the control module of the top of the rod here. And this is a carbon fiber rod, I believe, or something like that. You can see right here, I've got a line going. I'm just using a handsaw, very carefully cutting down just to I hit just the edge of it. I don't want to break through and cut my power lines. Once I get it there, I'm going to go ahead and snap it off and then carefully cut our power lines. We're going to extend all of this control module out to the cockpit of the kayak here. All right, so here's what it looks like inside of the shaft there. I've just separated it. You can see there's four wires. And all we're gonna do is basically extend the length of all these wires. So I've finished some of the steering linkage pieces. Uh, right here, this was a crisscross piece with the original pivot still in it, the rivet that was there from the chair down on the sides of the little crisscrosses on the side. What I've done is mounted one of the lengths of that down onto the frame we built. And the part that was loose here on the rivet, we've got that as our steering arm. Right now what that does is goes with cables up to an arm that I've just drilled a hole through the original column going down the electric trolling motor. You see a wing nut and a bolt put through there. I've bent the arm slightly with an arc going backwards that'll increase our steering radius just a little bit. Uh, this is 12 inches overall length. So it's a six inch from center out to where the cables hook up. You can see that going down into this arm. If I get back here a little bit, and actuate this you'll see how it's turning the motor so that'll be our steering system going back to the motor and all we have to do now 
is off of this piece here we're going to go ahead and run cables up underneath through the sides here and to our foot pedals so when we push down on the pedal that one right there will pull on that and turn the motor that direction obviously so they get a very simple piece something already on the chair already uh, I might shorten this down a little bit so it doesn't go all the way out to the end. We might bring these down. We'll see how hard the torque is once I get the pedals attached. So there's our turning system hooked on. You can see here I've got the wires ready to go. I've drilled some holes in the original mount here to put the wires down through. A hole here in the wood. The wires come down now here. Right now they're on the outside of the boat. Later on they're going to go through this hole. Up inside once again up to the control module right up here. All right, so what we're doing right now is mounting the cable system up that's gonna to go to the front pedals. So 22 inches back from the tip of the kayak, at least on this model, that's where I drilled a set of holes. One on this side, one on this side. For right now, we're just gonna run the cable through those holes. Later on, I'm gonna insert a grommet in there so the cable's wearing against the grommet, not against the plastic of the kayak. Uh, right up here, all we did was drill the hole. I've got a nut and a bolt right there. Drilled the hole through our piece of chair tubing. And I used one of these little hooks that you can find at Walmart or wherever. And I've bent that around the bolt down underneath right there. Maybe you can see that. Bent it around there. And used that as a pivoting point for our cables to run through. So now both cables are mounted. They're running up all the way through the kayak. And I have them right now just loosely coming out of the top. You go ahead and grab them. If I pull it that way, that turns. If I pull it that way, that turns. And there we go. So just demonstrating the ability for that to turn the prop back there in the back. Let me go ahead now. We'll insert some grommets. I'll put some eyelet screws in here to hold the cables up in there. We've got now all the cable system put in. I'm starting to work on our battery system. Just want to show you real quickly here how I came up with the steering. Up underneath here you can see there's just one piece of that pipe running across right here. I've got it bolted right through the down drop little pocket in the kayak. I'll put a steel plate inside of there kind of as a mounting plate to help kind of make it more rigid. But all we did is one center pin going through right here that lets it rotate on that center pin. Over here on the ends we've got the cable going back to our steering linkage on both sides. If we follow that around you should see the eyelet screw right there. It only took one eyelet screw on the inside to keep the cable from rubbing all the way down. I thought it'd take more than that, but once I put it in there, you can see that that one was all it took. I've got that same thing right over there on that side right there. You can see it once again just going right up to the very end of the pipe right there drilled and you can see we've got a little clamp just holding the cable through there. That allows us to make some adjustments in it if it stretches or over time something happens and changes just a little. We can always keep it nicely adjusted. So there you go. Very simple steering system. And all it is is I push down on this side with the tip of my toes. That side comes back this way. That steers the back. Once again I push back on this one. Steers. So there you go. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like back here. So there you go. You can see that's actuating our steering system. So there you go. Our whole steering system is completed. And literally, other than a few pieces of steel cable, some end pieces for that cable, and some nuts and bolts, almost the entire steering system and the mounting bracket here was made from one old fold-up chair. Uh, right now, what i got to do is make the electrical system ready to go. So I've got a battery mounting point. I think that's right behind the seat. It's going to be basically the best idea. If we put two batteries in there, we're going to have to put one up in the front, kind of level it out. So I'm going to wire up so I can hook to that battery. And then we've got to take this old controller right here, the controller head. And I've got to find somewhere in here that I can mount that. All right, so I finally completed this build project. As you can see here, all I've done is I drilled a hole with a hole saw for the little stem that was left over from the down rod that was on there. Put that down through there, put a couple screws in it, just so it could hold there. If I go underneath, see the wiring coming up? I got some wiring strap up in there holding it tight. Brings it all the way up underneath right there back to the back of the kayak. So there we go. So now all I've got to do is remove the battery to go bring it down to the water. We'll hook these two leads right up to the battery. The control arm is extendable so we can pull it all the way back so it's easier to reach. You can also get out of the way if you still want to paddle. So you can retract it back up into there. That'll give us all the speeds we need. It's getting dark here so let me go ahead and throw this down in the water and we'll give it a test run. So here we are. We're in the water. Let's go ahead and back it out. 
Oh, well, I probably got some weeds right here. All right, so it is controllable. Let's go ahead and flip it around and I'll cruise by you here. There we go, folks. Boy, it does a flip right around, nice and easy. There we are, there's our first electric solar charge boat that we're building for this project in this home. Bring it in real quick here. There we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed, folks, building a electric-powered kayak. Other than the price of electric trolling motor and the deep cycle battery, the rest of it was out of mostly recycled materials. The chair frame that we had from one of those cloth fold-up chairs basically built most of the uh, frame that's holding the motor and as well as the turning system down here. And all we had to do is add in some cables I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this was Mr. Teslonian.